Business Center has a unique feature for quickly creating a subgrade within a project. So what I have here is a uh, complex subdivision that uh, I've created with basically just using the intersection tool and uh, I was showing this in an earlier video. So I'm using actually the same data uh, set that I did there. So all I did was create a finished ground overall surface of my project using the intersection tool. And you can see that when I do a surface slicer, I have the surface slicer view and I can see the surface um, going through, in this case, the roundabout in the island. All right, so that's the existing, or not the existing ground surface, that's the overall finished ground surface, which you see here, okay? So one of the products or byproducts of the intersection tool is that we automatically assign what we call a site improvement to this. So we have a material site improvement manager that is where you set up all your materials. So I, on my project, on my materials, I've got some landscaping like sod, where I can put in how I want it measured, how many pallets I'm gonna need, what is the cost per sod, you know, for that sod. And then you can apply some colors and some shading. You can also see under pavement, uh, I've set up where I've got some asphalt where I can put in and how I want it measured, uh, you know, cubic meter or volume or area. Uh, I can put supplemental measure units as well as um, procurement cost for this as also in colors. So then I, I just set up concrete, sub base and gravel. So I just set up different materials. The site improvements is where you actually apply a site improvement to the project. Now when an intersection is created, it automatically creates the asphalt curbing in the island. So if you look at the asphalt here, you can see it's got a color and that's the dark gray asphalt. And what I simply did was I came in here and I modified or I added my material thicknesses. So I'm gonna have a couple inches of asphalt or in this case, I'm measuring it in millimeters. Uh, my project's actually in meters, but you can work in inches or uh, meters. And then I put in the gravel uh, thickness in my sub base. If you look at the curb, I just got a thickness for the curb. I'm using concrete PSI uh, 3000 and uh, thickness for that. And then on the island, I'm going to throw some sod and just some topsoil. So when you apply this, and depending on how you you know you're, you set up your thicknesses. Um, this just takes a few minutes and, and it's also stored with your project. So you, once you set this up, you're, you're done. You don't ever have to do it again. Um, you can come in here and modify your thicknesses as needed. So I'm just going to click close on that. And because the, when the intersections are created, they're automatically assigned what are called a site improvement. If you didn't have that, then you would uh, basically come in and you would have to uh, insert or add or configure the subgrade uh, basically site improvement. So you just basically come in and you pick areas where you want to apply that site improvement. It's pretty simple. But once you have that, basically if you know, you've know you got your material set up, all you do is click on um, the command here called create subgrade uh, or you, know, uh, you can go to the command pane because you might not see that on your initial ribbon but you go to command pane and you can find that command. But the command is create subgrade. So I'm going to click on that and we're going to give it a name, we'll call it overall subgrade. And my reference surface is going to be the overall finished ground. And you can create the surface at different uh, areas. So I can create a surface of just the concrete, a surface of just the asphalt. But I'm going to go right to the bottom of engineered materials. So when I do that and I click OK, it's going to create a, another surface. Now you can see the triangulation, I have another surface here. So if I come into the surfaces here, and we turn on the overall subgrade, you will see that it basically it's created a subgrade based on the thicknesses of the site improvements and drop them in to our project. So you can see here, if I turn off the surfaces and just turn on the overall subgrade, you can see it's dropped down and created a subgrade in our road area. Um, I didn't do anything in this area, so there's no site improvement there, so that's why you don't see anything in that area. But very quickly now, I can come up and I could do an earthwork report where I could compare my subgrade to my existing ground and then it would give me my total uh, cut fill volumes for my entire project. So within a matter of minutes, I could come up and get some real rough numbers, some real rough volumes and determine whether or not, you know, even with a costing, determine, you know, approximately ballpark of what it would cost uh, to build this project once I get it all uh, completed and designed. So again, 
Just another neat feature that Business Center Heavy Construction Edition provides.